And shout out again to all those people who hate my guts, but is sitting in a quiet place listening to my show. You are obsessed and sick, okay? Okay, I'll be right back and let's get into something else. What's good, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ebony. All right, you guys, we have a lot to get into. Now, the first topic is none other than Kevin Samuels. And I know people are like, why are we talking about Kevin Samuels? Well, I just find it so interesting how a man can build his platform off of putting down bigger size black women and then die as a result of hypertension. Talk about minding the business that pays you. Talk about a mess. Now, let's get into it. So this is what TMZ is reporting. Kevin Samuels did pass away as a result of hypertension, eliminating any suspicion around his demise. The Fulton County Emmys just released the filings saying that he did pass due to hypertension. High blood pressure. Evidence of hypertension includes a heart whose chambers are thicker than normal. It appears that Samuels was also taking medication called Atenol because the Emmy notes that their findings that this medication is used to treat hypertension. His death is due to natural causes. So you guys know that he did pass away back in May and this is not anything, you know, new to us. But usually when you see anyone who has chambers around their heart, which may be thicker than normal, that is someone that does not have a good diet. And I think this goes to show you that you can be as skinny as all else, but be unhealthy on the inside. So I just thought this was interesting that he used to literally talk about Big Bertha and you know all these other women but he had so much going on inside. Now the next topic I do want to discuss you guys is none other. Cardi B's new song Hot Ish predicted to fall out of the top 25 on the Billboard Hot 100. Now currently a lot of these prediction pages are saying that it will fall past number 25 probably around in the 30 area. Now this is to me still not a flaw. I don't think that the song flopped. I don't think that a top 13 is a flop, but I do think that this will be a free fall in my opinion. And it really does go to show you that her fans are so consumed with Nicki Minaj and other people that they are not focused on her music. And I also find it interesting that she had someone like Kanye West and Little Dirk on the song and that still couldn't keep it in the top 10. Now look you guys, there is rumors that Cardi B may be working with Drake. There are just so many other rumors at the end of the day if this is her lead single this is not a win for her right she wants a number one she is putting WAP and also up on her album to boost some of those accolades for her album her sophomore album so again I don't think that this is a flop but I do think that this is going to be a free fall so what can she do about this well I think the most important thing is that Cardi has to get back to why people fell in love with her in the first place she is going to have to find a way to get back to her personal personality days, right? She got to stop arguing with blogs online. She got to stop playing victim. She got to stop worrying about what other female rappers are doing and also focus on her craft. I don't know if she needs to get into a writer's camp where there's other ideas flowing for her second album because obviously, in my opinion, Partisan is not giving her what she's used to and, you know, she needs to revamp and I think the most important thing for her is to get off the internet because, let's be clear, Cardi B can make a song if she wants to. Um, I think she did this obviously just to put something out. This is a three-year-old song. Um, and again, it did sound like up. So a lot of the general public was not here for the song. With that being said, I still think that she can come back from this. But again, she has to get back into her bag. She got to get off the internet and she needs to focus on Cardi B. Don't focus on everybody else, the blogs and what people are saying about you. Of course, you have to be a mother, but focus on your craft and what you have going on. And I do think that Cardi B can have a good rollout because as of right now, it's been hella messy. And that's just my opinion, allegedly. Talk about a mess. And while she is out here on the internet crying, Offset is somewhere in London falling. Child, get it together, baby. Get it together. And that's really no shade. It's really, really no shade, okay? Whew, child. It's a 
lot going on in these streets. Now, the next topic I do want to discuss, you guys, is none other than Miss Erica Banks coming out to say that she's learned her lesson from actually speaking on the internet about other artists. You guys remember that Erica Banks got a lot of backlash after she went on the internet to say that Nicki Minaj gave features to other people who may not rap as well. And she even did an IG Live. Here's a recap. Okay, I want to get on here and address the Nicki Minaj situation because it's becoming misunderstood and misconstrued. And people are even thinking I went so far as to unfollow Nicki Minaj. And I need to clear this up because this is my fave artist. So I have a lot of respect for her, enough to even get on here and just clear this up because I don't need this narrative being painted of me. So first of all, I never unfollowed Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj blocked me, y'all. Yesterday, y'all, blocked me. I'm talking about I'm in shambles. Like, what is going on? Like, why is this happening? I'm serious. Like, I'm being real with y'all. I'm having a real moment right now, like a real fan moment. I cannot believe it. And I meant no harm by what I said. You know, if you know, you know. If you don't, whatever. I made a comment on a post that I agree with, and I was coming from a fan's point of view. And I want to explain that because a lot of y'all are getting it misunderstood and thinking that the whole thing is about a feature the thing is not about a feature okay it's deeper than that it's about the love that we fans have for Nicki Minaj because when we're talking about our idol or somebody that we look up to or somebody that we've been looking up to since we were young or since we were kids it hits a, a deep spot in our heart when we felt like damn why haven't we worked with Nicki Minaj like, why haven't we got in, you know, why why haven't we put something together? Like, yeah, we love each other, and she shows us massive love, and we appreciate it to the fullest. Don't ever underestimate me of anybody for appreciating the support that Nicki Minaj gives me because she's been supporting me for the past year. If it was about a feature, I wouldn't even be worried about following or, or showing love or any of that. I have continued to do that because it's genuine, and that is where my heart is at with Nicki Minaj. All I was saying was us fans, we're still fans even though we're artists. We do get in our feelings and our feelings do get hurt when we feel like you don't want to work with us. You know what I'm saying? And how can you blame us for feeling like that because this is our favorite artist we talking about. You know, like it's a beautiful thing for us to even get a follow or a like or a comment and I have never been ashamed to say that I'm a super fan for Nicki Minaj or anything that we interact doing. I'm a super fan. Always been. You know what I'm saying? So if I see someone say anything that I can relate to in regards to Nicki Minaj, I feel like it's okay for me to voice my opinion about it because it's not coming from an ill place. It's coming from a genuine place. Who doesn't want to work with her? You know what I'm saying? So we are just fans and we love her that much that we feel a way when we don't work with her but see her work with other people. That's not hating. That's not jealousy. A lot of people like to throw that in there. That's just us being human. That's just us having feelings. That's just us really feeling the hurt from seeing Nicki Minaj work with other artists but not work with us. And it's okay for us to feel like that. We're not bad people for having our feelings hurt. We're not bad people for expressing our love for Nicki Minaj. We're not bad people. You know what I'm saying? But I guess sometimes we might forget that our favorite celebrity or our favorite rapper is still human. You know, so she may have her reasons as to why she hasn't worked with this person or me or this person or this person. And I'm not upset at her for that. All I was doing was what's in my opinion and saying that this is how I feel like this. You know what I'm saying? It was no disrespect. Nothing was disrespectful about it. I couldn't even believe I got blocked, y'all. I cannot believe I got blocked. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, people were saying I don't follow her. I'm like, who? Who? And then I'm going to say this, and I'm going to just get it. A lot of people like to act like, oh, I'm cool either way, whether I do a song with my favorite celebrity or not. You're lying. You're lying. If your favorite rapper, singer, anybody, if your favorite artist call you right now and say, let's do this song, you're going to do it. So why, why do people act like it's not a big deal? It's a big deal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a big deal to not get a chance to work with your favorite artist. And maybe it's not time. Maybe they're not ready. And that's perfectly fine. But that does not mean that we cannot express how we feel about it if it's not disrespectful. So I just needed to get on here and just clarify it up and say, I was commenting and coming from a fan's place and coming from a place of loving Nicki Minaj by voicing that my feelings too 
are hurt because we haven't worked together yet. And I can feel like that. I can feel like that. I love Nicki Minaj. I will always love Nicki Minaj. If I could go follow her right now, I would, but I'm blocked, child. So I love y'all. I love all my fans. I love everybody. And I just needed to say that and get that off my heart. Any negative comments, you will be blocked. Don't even waste your time. So as you guys see, Buckethead Erica Banks had so much to say. And you guys know after her BBL, I think she's got a little bit more sense. But she sat down for an interview where she finally realized that maybe I shouldn't be talking so much on the internet. Chell, check this out. I mean, wherever you say anything, everything runs. You were vocal about working with Nicki Minaj and I felt like the internet ran with that. So can you just explain that? Like, I'm assuming you're a fan of Nicki Minaj. Like, do you still want to work with her after all the stuff that went on with the internet? That when you spoke about it? Well, I'm a real fan, so I was still working with Nicki Minaj. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've moved past the situation. It was a learning experience for me, but... Mm -hmm. What did you learn from that experience? Um, Don't say how you feel on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. But, I mean, if she called me tomorrow, I want to do a song. Hell yeah, I'm still doing a song. Yes, 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 yes. So, as you guys see, Erica Banks says that she's learned her lesson. But, to be quite honest, I want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think about these topics? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys to the minute back. And as always, we'll chop it up very soon. Bye.